turbine system interchange. This thing is capable of handling huge amounts of traffic and I'm going to show you how to build one in City Skylines 2. The big advantage of this type of interchange is that it's free flowing so traffic can move around without changing lanes or queuing. It's about the same size as the pre-built Cloverleaf uh, in the road tools but should have the same traffic benefits of the in-game 4 stack but without the enormous size. Most importantly, it looks pretty cool, so let's get started building it. I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this one real quick. Let's get rid of all of this. So we need to prepare the ground. You'll need to level the ground using the level drain tool. Next you need to draw two highways, make sure they're at 90 degree angles and use the parallel road tool, use a gap of two. We're going to draw four temporary on lamps to act as a marker for each of the four curves. Take these from the snapping point at each of the four corners. We'll delete these later on. So the measurements you need here are 45 degrees, directly from the corner, a length of 50 meters, and a height of 7.5 meters. Do this for all four corners. end of the temporary ramps we've just built, we're going to run our circles. Use the right angle and existing geometry snapping for these. Again, all four will have exactly the same measurements and we're simply going to draw a perfect semicircle. Use the curve road tool, straight out from the ramp, 150 meters, and then pull 90 degrees to the right and pull it out another 150 meters. Again, 90 degrees to the right and down 150 meters in length. Simply repeat that for all four ramps and you'll end up with four perfect semicircles exactly where you need them to be. This is what you should end up with once all four circles are in and you've deleted those little on ramps. Looking pretty good so far, right? Let's start connecting the ramps. So we'll start on the outside circles first. Make sure we have uh, existing geometry and right angle snapping enabled. And we're going to use the curved road tool again. From the outside ramp, pull out a straight road to the highway. Find the point just before it hits and then pull it along a length of 85 meters before snapping into the highway. Again, repeat the same technique on all four ramps. Next up is the outer right hand connections. Uh, we're going to find the snapping point on the junction we've just created. I'm just going to show you that again, that's the point you're looking for, and pull that straight to the highway. Keep it as tight as possible to the raised ramp, and using the same technique as earlier, find the point just before it hits the highway, 
and with the curved road tool pull it along 115 meters and attach it. Using these measurements will result in a balanced look to all of your on and off ramps. We we'll just show you that one more time. Find the snapping point, pull straight out until you hit the highway, staying as close as possible to the raised ramp and drag it along 115 meters before connecting. Do exactly the same on all four sides. Now we'll make sure all the ramps have the correct traffic direction, very important of course. Just use the replace tool and you simply click and drag in the direction you want the traffic to go. So we're really starting to take shape now. Next step is to sync the highway. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, just bulldoze enough to give yourself the space that you want and make sure you bulldoze the same length from the centre. Doesn't matter how much, just make sure it's, it's the same on both sides. Onto the terrain tool, bring the terrain a little bit. Okay, maybe not that much. <laughs> uh, pick the terrain level in. You're looking for 8 to 10 metres below the main level you've been working on. Here we go. Next, pick the slope terrain tool, right click the high point, left click and drag towards the high point and that will give you a uniform slope. Do exactly the same on the other side and we're going to simply draw the highways back in using the same gap on the road tools. Next up is the interior ramps. I'm going to do the higher level ones first, they are a little bit easier. You snap onto the end of the ramp using the curved road tool. Same idea again guys, bring the road straight to almost touch the highway and then reduce the height down to the level of the main road. Just simply drag it to the furthest point it will allow. You'll probably find that should be about 54 meters. And again we'll just repeat that on the other interior ramp to the higher level um, highway. The next part is probably the trickiest part of the build. We're going to hook up the last two ramps to the lower highway. Fundamentally the technique is the same, however you might need to play about with the terrain, give it a little slope um, I found helps. And also rather than pulling all the way down to the highway, just start the road curve tool a little earlier and you will find that it will fit um, a little bit easier as well. As I said this can be a little tricky, it definitely will fit in, uh, you just need to play about with it a little bit until you find a point that's going to work for you. So, softened terrain, let's tidy this up. We'll use the flattened terrain tool a little bit as well. Yeah, I'm gonna hook up the road and see how the traffic's moving, uh, but we're not quite done yet. Slip roads, we're going to add these to every ramp, so use a replace tool, use a three lane one way highway as I'm showing you here, make sure you have snapping enabled okay, so um, if you have snapping enabled you'll be able to pick the side of the road you want the extra lane to go on, so very important, don't forget to do that.
So let's have a look at what we have here. Now for the keen eye viewer you might have noticed this is actually the interchange I destroyed at the start of the video. Unfortunately as soon as I had finished this one I've just shown you, the game crashed and I didn't have it saved. Unbelievable. So yeah, <laughs> thankfully I had this one all ready to go and I think we can all agree it's looking pretty darn good. If you've made it this far, feel free to drop a like, a comment, even a follow. It doesn't cost you anything, but it can really help with the algorithm and it can help my little channel get discovered. So it'd be much appreciated if you can uh, take two seconds to do that, guys. Uh, I've got more interesting interchange ideas for you here. Feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.